Hello, my name is Tim, and welcome to the very first Let's Play on my channel. I chose to play the game I flew. It's an indie game that I got off of Steam, and I don't see a lot of people playing it on YouTube, and I thought it'd be a fun and interesting experience. So let's begin. After a long trip, a very long and tiring trip, it seems that you are stuck here. Face the challenges before you to continue your journey. We see the little valve there. So in this game, it you play as a droplet of water, and the environments are beautiful. And when you when it zooms in on on you, you look around, you see that things in the background are blurry because it's focusing on the droplet of water. I like the uh, I like the effects there. So the game is based is based off of several or a handful of levels. I think 15 or so. And as you progress the levels, other more levels open up to you. So I will be playing the game in the manner that each level is going to be one video. So videos can be short and videos can also be long. So yeah, that's how what I decided. So let's begin the first level. So you click on the valve here to begin the mission. These unlock after you complete it. So Time to start the very first level of Eye Fluid. It's a very interesting experience. I've played the first couple levels. So each level is is supposed to be inside of a house, and you you play in the environments. And as a drop out of water, you shouldn't normally be able to do the things you can do, but it's it's a game. So let's go over the first question mark here. The pipe brought you here. You will have to find the exit. To skip this text, press the left mouse button. And I like how all the letters will fall on the ground and slowly disappear. Now you can push things around as this little droplet of water. It's kind of interesting. So first of all, first off, there's another one here. You can interact with your surroundings. Take a run up and push the paper clips to free the passageway. All the letters fall again. So we're gonna first want to get through these paper clips. That one alone is gonna be easier to push because all of these are supported by the others underneath the pencil and I'm gonna to want to get up here but I'm not quite big enough I don't quite have the the ramp to go up there so I gotta use this eraser so I gotta move this paper clip out of the way. Let's go up and get this next question mark. Controlling the camera is vital for your survival. Zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and try not to end up in a perilous situation. Let's go up this balance ruler. And we gotta go over here. So obviously the note the paper down there is going to absorb me as this question mark is going to tell us. If you have lost some water, simply touch human objects or droplets to regenerate. Try it out with the apple. And I will slowly get a little bit bigger, but I'm you're at your max capacity with when you're the full droplet. This one Watch out, the, this notebook absorbs water. Use your common sense to determine if an object absorbs or regenerates. Let's get on this apple here, go around, and we'll go up this ruler. Now obviously this is a potato chip, it will absorb you. Now I gotta deal with this huge horde of paper clips, I'm trying to get pushed down to the chip. Let's go get this next question mark. To complete this mission, simply, fi simply find a way into the pencil sharpener, and that was down here, inside of this ruler here. So I'm just going to go up and into the pencil sharpener, if I can make it in there. Yeah. And I win, and things are going to explode all over the place. And I finished this video a little bit early, so we will I will see you in the next episode.